Okay, this is a video. Oh, this is a video for Mark Fisher just to um, uh, show you the progress of your ECU Avenue mobilizer removed from this Ford Fiesta ST. We've got the connections made. Oh, we've connected. So first thing I'm going to do now is read the internal flash micro, and I want to put it into. Desktop, where are we? There we go, Mark Fisher. Okay, into there, file name, and that's going to be Flash Original. Okay, Flash Original. Save. So it's reading that. ECU power on. Correct. So this will read the flash. I see it's got OTP protection. So cloning of these is quite difficult. But it can be done. There's a special tool on this that uh, allows for cloning. So we're going to let it read this and then we're going to get it to read the EEPROM. We're going to save the file and then we're going to load it into our um, immobilizer removal tool and see if we can do that. This takes a little while. The EEPROM is a lot quicker. So, 53%. I'll probably edit this out. I mean, it takes about three, four minutes, something like that. So it's not too bad. So at the moment two minutes so yeah probably about three say three minutes something like that to read the EEPROM and uh, read the flash micro rather okay done so I'll turn the dashboard off so I'll do that now dashboard Okay, next step I'm going to do is read the EEPROM. That should be a lot quicker. So, Mark Fisher, I'm going to go EEPROM original. Okay, EEPROM original. Save. Power on, yes. Okay, let's so read the prompt. End of read, turn the dashboard off. Dashboard is now off. Okay. Right, now what I need to do, I'll just exit this. Okay, 
I'll get out of this, close this one. That'll save the data. Next thing I want to do is, is go into the emo off system. load it okay so we want EEPROM emo off and check some corrections so click on this one so what we're looking for is we want marks there's desktop so we're looking for mark there we go so we're going to go EEPROM first Open. Saved file. Okay, that's done. Okay, so that's that one. Now we're going to do the same again. Let's see if it does it uh, with the flash. So let's see if the flash needs doing. Okay, so it doesn't need the flash. So it's just the EEPROM, right, so we'll get out of this, get out of that. Okay, then we we'll go back into Fox Flash. Uh, no, I don't want to become a partner. Activate. Put that down out of the way. Open up Fox Flash, and then we just want to write the EEPROM into this ECU, and then it'll be done. I may or may not edit this. Okay, yes, so we do it in real time. I want to connect so make sure the power is on so I'm gonna turn the power on connect should then give me the options to write external flash Okay, lovely. So I want to write. Uh, I want to write the EEPROM. So if I go write EEPROM, there we go. EEPROM original emo off. Okay, so I want to click on that one. Go open. And it should uh, perform the checks and correction. No, well, checks and correction has already been done. Uh, so on this one, let's go, because the checks and corrections already been done, so I'm going to go no. Easy power on. So now what I'll be doing now is writing the EEPROM. Okay, turn the dashboard off and wait. Okay. End. Done. That's it. So file EEPROM original emo off. So the immobilizer has been removed. Writing in progress. Writing was done. Everything was okay. Perfect. 
So that's it, Mark. That's your ECU with your immobiliser removed from the ECU itself electronically. OK, you'll probably need to do what they call a PATS alignment, because if you're going to put this ECU in, the other modules will see a different ECU. So you'll have to line those up. Um, and once they're lined up, then that's it. Um, but with the immobiliser off, it would probably still start and run anyway. But you might get a warning on the dash. OK, thanks for watching.